So I'm going to be doing a bond tool today. So hopefully you enjoy. <laughs> you can meet all of our horses and this is one of two bombs the other bomb houses three thoroughbreds in it two thoroughbreds and one appendix and appendix is half thoroughbred half coat of horse so let's get straight into it so first off we have a white bone that sometimes we write our feed on and then we have so my grandma Okay. And then we have a halto, another halto, a bridle, wing, halto, and then we have a miniature halto, and then we have a thermometer, it is currently 85 degrees. So, <clears throat> let's get straight into our tack room. So, right when you walk in our tack room, you see this big cabinet. We have my jumping boots, washing boots, bow boots, grooming tote, and helmet. And then we have fly spray, shoeing kit. We have rainmaker, which helps the hooves not get so dry. And then we have another big thing of grooming. And then under here, we just store extra stuff. And then we have grain, goat grain, horse grain, horse treats. We have a radio, male magic, which that is for my horse to make some way less testy. And then we have this, I don't really know what this is, it's really old. Then we have a spare saddle. And then I have my saddle pads and my saddle under that. And then we have a western saddle, western saddle. And then these are my mom's old saddles. And then we bought this one a long time, like three years ago. And this one's really old. And then we have my brother's western saddle and extra saddle pads, which I do not ride western. So I do not think I ride western. And then we have these cabinets up here, which has my fly sheet and cooler. And then in them, we have these, no, <clears throat> we have just therapeutic wraps. And then we have a spare fly mask. We have we have some of these sponges. So that's about all that we have in there. So then as we're walking out, we have, and this is the and this is just my dad's area. So we have gas cans, we have our old push mold, and then we have a wheel lawn mold that's attached to our tractor. And then we have a air pump a sprayer, and a, and one of those things which you don't know the name of. And then we have our fifth wheel hitch, and we have just a cabinet that he stores all of his oil and stuff in. And then over here we just have lakes, pitchforks, and extra material. And then as we make our way, we go to a spare stall, which is the stall that we're going to be using for Fully, and we're going to clean everything out and put it somewhere. We're going to fold our horses in here and maybe cut a hole, a Dutch, put a Dutch doll there for they can have a little dry light out there. And then we have three stalls along here, which you might be thinking one of the horses gets left out, but there's usually three horses in this stall, one horse in that stall, and then none of that. I don't know why. And then we have name nameplates and a fan. And then we have another nameplate, which that's cookie stall, and that's honeybee stall. And then I have my saddle rack. And 
Then I have my saddle wax and some spell halters. And then we have whatever you call that. I don't know what that is. Then we have this. And then we have hay right here, which we make our own hay. And we just have helmets because we have two foils. And then we have more hay. And then back here, we have more. And then over here, we have the tractor that we use to bale hay with. And then we have just the alfalfa. Here's a view from the rafters. And this does have skylights in it. So tractor, hay, hay. And then we got all stars. We do feed them in the feed tubs hey, in the morning. Hey. Sometimes feed them in those stalls at night, but we usually walk, walk, walk them in. I mean, we'll walk them out of the stalls at nighttime. So sometimes they cannot go in. And then we always feed them grain <laughs> in the nighttime. And we usually let them out to pasture at 5.30ish and bring them in at 8.45, 9ish. So that is just kind of what the feed routine is. So I'm going to show you guys around our property. So I, I will see you guys when I show you around our property. We do have a Massey Ferguson. For all, for all of you tractor people out there, it's a GC2300 four wheel drive, 2007. And then this is just how it works, which nobody really cares. So scoop, yeah, throttle. And it does have 3,000 hours on it. And then we have two Honda Wecons, 2018. So let's get straight into around the property on the folio. I've got my helmet gear on and my gear. So to start it up, which nobody really cares, you just press this in, turn the key it's on, press this. We've got some spark. So let's get going. So right here is our bong, and then we have the goat shed, which we have three nannies in, and then we have captain shed behind that. We have our manure pile, the wake, and then we have two big gates where we can bale hay. We have a gate over there to let us know the pasture, and we have this pasture, and then those of you of our house. And then here we are in the bottom of that pastel. We have the gate to the next pastel, which is a big pastel. And then we are on the upside of the other pastel. Sorry about my hand. And then another gate to get in. And then we have the thoroughbred pastel. We have our arena, which is right there. No, big pass show. We have the arena, house, a barn, goat shed, goat shed, barn. And then we have the thoroughbred barn. Thanks for watching, members of the Hooves and Hearts for Jesus Farm. And if you haven't, <clears throat> please give this video a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe. So we are going to be posting for you every Sunday and Wednesday. So we are going to be posting on Sunday. And that is only if we can. Right? There's a horse in there. You just can't see her. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this bunch of, uh, of craziness and fun. Bye! Just kidding. Bye.